What's up guys, Dr. Feel Good here, back again with another video prescription. And today, I'm going to do something you guys probably would never expect. I'm going to defend Sony. That's right. In defense of Sony's recent state of play events, I personally do not think they were terrible. However, they clearly reveal one thing that most will not see. This is Sony's desperate attempt to mimic Nintendo's success. And honestly, none of them are good. First of all, they are going against their own core beliefs and culture. They spent the last 20 or more years grooming their audience, their fans, to like big cinematic experiences, and this has remained largely unchanged. With each major announcement, their fan base expects something spectacular, eye-popping, and grand in scope. Now, Sony is not only downsizing the scale, but they are pushing different types of games and experiences. No longer is it only about what is popular. Many of the games shown during this event were games that their core audience does not give a damn about, in my opinion. Next, they are pushing this VR gimmick hard, real hard. I mean, from where I'm sitting, the event was mostly VR focused and not just a VR option being added to current games, but completely new and exclusive VR games. This is something Nintendo has been doing since the beginning, you know, developing games around their quote unquote gimmick. Sony is trying to force people to use VR, in my opinion. They really are. However, I'm sure another influence is the amount of money they poured into it. See, when you as a business, you pour a lot of money to something, you hate to see it fail, and in fact, you do all that you can to make sure it succeeds. You'll take risks you otherwise probably would not do normally. But, hey. Some people say that Nintendo has groomed their fans or audience to like certain games and experiences and to an extent this is true god damn motorcycle he just had to start that shit up now while i'm recording anyway could you cut the shit man if you guys can hear this i do apologize oh my gosh i want to walk outside and take a a nice fresh brand new brick purchase from Lowe's and throw it right at his damn helmet. Anyway. <sighs> Where was I? Oh yeah. This is why Nintendo still caters to the audience they groomed. Nintendo is also known for always trying new things and their audience expects this with each new piece of hardware released. This dude is really pushing my goddamn buttons right now. Back on point. Sorry, guys. Damn it. I lost my train of thought. Um, as I said, they always have to try new things. Nintendo does. And their audience, you know, expects this in the same way Sony fans expect big, bold eye-popping experiences but here's the thing Sony is not known for trying new things this is why their controller has essentially remained unchanged for over 20 years and their audience is okay with this 
Why? Well, because Sony has groomed him to be. If you really want to keep it simple. You keep offering the same thing over and over. And your audience will eventually accept it. It's, it really is that simple. Oh, man. This guy in this motorcycle. Anyway. The same goes for Sony's games, obviously. Honestly, the only time Sony has even tried something new is when Nintendo was massively successful at something such as the Wii with motion controls. And, of course, they copied Nintendo with the whole PlayStation Classic, you know, which was not successful. And, of course, when Nintendo showed off the gamepad, Nintendo, um, Sony decided to add a touchpad to their PS4 controller. This is what they do. What the rockets? Where are they coming from? Now, Sony themselves, check this out now, Sony themselves are now trying something new with their games, focusing more on VR. In fact, Sony is pushing VR just as much as Nintendo does with their quote-unquote gimmicks. And the VR games being offered are not simply VR versions of their popular IPs or currently released games. You know how they add a, you know, compatible with VR or they may add a few features like the Batman Arkham VR experience or something. They're not just adding this VR feature to their current games. They are vastly different than the typical offerings. The problem with that is that their core audience, which has been groomed for over 20 years to like these big, massive AAA games such as The Last of Us, Uncharted, God of War, Spider-Man, etc. They don't give a damn about innovative and or abstract games. They want what they want, and what they want is something straightforward. This is why many of the Sony fans out there are disappointed at the state of play me i will admit not much interest in me in the state of play but at the same time i can appreciate sony for trying to be different trying to do something different than they normally do maybe they realize they can't keep up with this massive cinematic expensive triple a experience they can't keep doling those out maybe they have finally realized hey let's try to offer something to other gamers besides the hardcore audience you think about it with especially with the whole thing with censoring their games it seems they may be turning over a new leaf who knows i'm not claiming to know i'm not claiming anything i say right now is fact i'm just simply saying Why do you keep running off when the i will give them credit that they're at least at least trying something different and i hope it works out for them i really do Personally, I think the fans are going to jump ship in the same way the Xbox fans jump ship from the 360 to the PS4. I think PS4 is a, uh, four fans are going to jump ship to the next Xbox or maybe even the Switch. Who knows? But I'm just simply saying I'm going to give credit where credit is due. The same thing Nintendo has been doing their entire lifespan in gaming, trying new things, Sony's being scolded for doing now. So... I can appreciate that. Anyway, I know this video is effed up. This video is foobar with that motorcycle. I don't, I'm not, you know me, I never go for perfect recordings anyway. I don't do all the massive editing and shit. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And I'll catch you guys later. As I always say, keep it gaming. Peace.